Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I want to talk about linear interpolation, which is something that is used inside graphic design a lot, so it's really good to know how it works. I don't want to say it's boring, but obviously it will not produce stunning results from the beginning because we have to talk about the basics. So the linear interpolation is going from point A to point B, which are represented by those orange dots, and getting any point in between with the equal spacing, which are of course represented by those blue dots. So let's start with a blank document, I will start drawing something. So as we've talked, it's a linear interpolation is going from point A, which could be like the here, to point B, which is here, and getting all those you know, in between points, which lays between those A and B points with the equal spacing. So the spacing between those in between points is the same. That's why it's called the linear interpolation. Now, how to get those values? Let's, let's focus on the X value first, let's not you know, think about the Y for now, let's just think about this X spacing. So we know the position or the X position of point B, of point A, sorry, because it's obviously A. So this is the distance of A and the distance between the point A and B is of course B minus A. So if we want to interpolate, we want to say that the new point will be A plus B minus A and the b minus a will be multiplied by a new factor which we can call t like time for example and the t goes from the t goes from 0 to 1 so when the t is 0 of course anything multiplied by 0 is 0 so we only get a so when the t equals 0 we get the 0 we get the point a when the t equals 1 it's uh, you know a plus by B minus A, which of course is the position of B. So when the T is 1, it goes all the way to the right side to the point B. When it's point 5, you know, it's like 50%, it's in the middle, you know, point 25, it's 25%, and go on. You know, we can choose any number in between 0 and 1 to go in between points. Of course, we can choose, you know, lower numbers and bigger numbers, but we don't care about those. Uh, points outside the range of A and B. So I believe that that's all we need to start writing some uh, macro and visual basic code to get all those points. So I will stop inking and what I will do is I will open the developer ribbon macros and for this document I will create a new macro which I will call interpolate for example. I will create a new macro called interpolate and I need few variables. And let's just call them, you know, the simplest possible way. So let's call it uh, point A as single and uh, point B as single. Then, of course, we need the number of points. So let's call this uh, number of po number of points, no number of points, as uh, I don't know, for example, long. So the number of points in between be for example free for now and then we have to calculate all those points so i will s create a new counter for counter going from zero to number of points i want to calculate and draw a point and i will then i want to s set the next counter okay so how how do i calculate the new new x so x new x position or x position equals point a plus point b minus point a i'll put this inside the brackets and if i jump back to the document i just need to uh, multiply it by parameter t which goes from 0 to 1 so in order to get the value going from 0 to 1 i will multiply it by counter divided by number of points which will go from 0 to 1. So I'll put this inside brackets as well. I'll probably get one more bracket in here, it's probably not needed. Okay, so we have a new X position, we just want to draw it. So I'll say active document dot shapes dot add shape. And I want to draw, for example, a new oval. So MSO shape oval. The left will be uh, new X position, so X pos we can set the y position to any value for example 50 and the size as well so i don't know 10 10 for the width and then for the height i will say select i will probably say false so it will not it will keep the old selection 
and once everything is being drawn I will say selection dot uh, shape range dot group so I will group group so I'll group everything together now we have to set the point a and point B variables so I will set the point a to be for example I don't know like 50 and point B to be maybe 250 so we have set the number of points we have set the point a and point b and we've just used the very simple linear interpolation function which we have just showed hopefully when i press the play macro we will get what we are looking for that is four different uh, shapes it's four different because we are going from zero to number of points that could be maybe misleading so maybe we can use the number of maybe we can use the number of points minus one so number of points will be set to three we need three points so we need to go from zero to number of points minus one and we of course need to set the number of points minus one when we have this inside this equation so number of points minus one so this time hopefully we'll only get three points and you have to kind of trust me that the first point is on position 50 and the last point is on position 250 so I'll maybe move everything more to the bottom and maybe try to increase the number of points like to maybe like 10 to just to see if everything works as expected okay so when we have the linear interpolation for the x uh, position it's very easy to actually add the ui position as well so it can be you know moved freely in the 2d space so all that's needed is of course the y position so let's rename this to point a x and point a b x and add new variable point a y and point b y like this okay and we can of course we can of course uh, define this as point a y point a x point b x you know we would probably use arrays and but uh, for the sake of, sim sake of simplicity i will just have a lot of variables in here so x position and y position and the y position will be of course using the y variables so point eight y point b y and so on and this file this one will be using the x position is using point a x point b x point eight x okay so i will draw a new shape on the x position and the y position and hopefully that will work i will change the variables a little bit so x could be 50 y could be like 20 going to maybe 100 so let's see if that works okay so it goes from left top corner to the right bottom corner seems like it's working and i guess that's also everything for today's tutorial we know now how to uh, get a linear interpolation between two different points in the 2d space as i've said nothing fancy right now but it will be used very soon in many future tutorials for example this one when i create the penrose triangle using visual basic for applications or this kind of like a uh, wavy header thing yep and that's it that's all for linear interpolation thanks for watching